at the page uh, 44 of the Arahanta Vagga in the Kuddha Nikaya, the Buddha referred to Nirvana as Sunyato, meaning complete emptiness or void. That means there is nothing, no substance in Nirvana. This idea is further expressed by the Buddha at the Mahaparinibbana, answering a question raised by the Buddha's last disciple called Subhadda. Subhadda was a very intelligent spiritualist person at the time of the Buddha. He had two queries. One query is, where is Nirvana? And the other is, what is there in the Nirvana? Buddha's answers to these two questions of Subhadda are indirect in their meaning. The direct meaning is different from the indirect meaning that the Buddha meant. One statement of the Buddha is Samano Nati Bahire. Here Samana means the tranquility of the mind, the peaceful of the mind. That is the Nirvana. Nati Bahire means it is not outside one's own mind. It is a state that can be found in the mind of an enlightened mind. That is the non-vibrating mind. The idea that the mind of an enlightened one does not vibrate is said by the Buddha in the Mahamangala Sutra saying Puttasa loka dhammehi chittang yasana kampati. The mind of the enlightened ones are not disturbed by the worldly vicissitudes. What happens in the world? That mind is stable, not vacillating. That idea is further expressed metaphorically with a simile in the Pratan Sutta saying the nature of an enlightened mind. Yatinda kilo patavin chitosya. Chatubdi vate asamba kampyo. It is like a post called Indra kila that is well established in the earth so that it does not get moved by any strong wind coming from all the four directions. Stability, the stableness, motionlessness. Even the supreme bliss attained by the Buddha, Nirvana, enlightened ones, is called Nisarana because Sansarana means motion. Nisarana means motionless, not moving, not vibrating. That is one aspect of the mind of an enlightened one. It is motionless, not moving, not disturbed. That means enlightened mind 
can take anything as it is without getting moved by emotions. Emotions are motions, without any motion. That is a stable mind. The other question, the Uh, the meaning, the conventional meaning of Samano Nati Bhaire means enlightened ones are found only as the disciple of the Buddha, in the Buddha's message, who follow the Buddha's message, can achieve that a stable mind, motionless mind non-moving mind, stable mind. The other question, as I mentioned earlier, the last disciple, Subhad, the head boss, where, what is there in the Nirvana? As I mentioned at the beginning, Buddha calls Nirvana Sunyato means emptiness, wideness. If Nirvana is empty, you can't find any substance in the Nirvana. This concept is further explained by the Buddha in the Kevada Sutta. This state of mind is empty means Nirvana is mind empty of all thought forms. That is why Buddha said in his first period of joy, joy after enlightenment, becoming Buddha, he uttered the period of joy, saying, Visankara Gatanchitta. All thought formations, that means thinking, the process of thinking ceased at my enlightenment. Thinking process starts with a cause. The, the mind has two functions. One is a natural function, mind becoming aware of the signals given by sense organs regarding different experiences. The eye can see, the ear can hear, the nose can smell, the tongue can taste, etc. Such experiences of the sense organs are given to the mind. And mind start thinking of what the sense organs have experienced. The thinking process starts with liking, disliking or ignorance. Liking is called raga or attach, meaning attachment in Buddha's language. Disliking is called dosa meaning resentment, disliking. And ignorance is called moha, not knowing the reality. The mind born to think of something when the mind is find it difficult to understand what the mind became aware of. Sometimes one starts thinking of things that the mind likes, mind gets attached to. The mind thinks of perpetuating it, protecting it, having it even for the future enjoyment. If the mind dislikes something, some experience, the mind think of getting rid of it. They are resenting it. Therefore, Buddha's explanation is, thinking process is based on our likes, dislikes and ignorance, called Raga, Dosa, Moha. And Nibbana Sutta 
the state of mind called Nibbana or Nirvana is explained by the Buddha saying Raga Koyo, Dosa Koyo, Moha Koyo, Idam Gucchati Nibbana. Nirvana is the cessation of attachment called Raga, resentment called Dosa, and ignorance called Moha. So that there is no point of thinking, point in thinking of any sensory experience. And that is the ultimate freedom of the mind. The burden of thinking ceases at the enlightenment. Non-thinking mind, a mind free of thinking. But sensing is there, awareness is there. That awareness ceases only at the trance called Nirodha Samapati, Sanya Vaidat Nirodha Samapati, or the final passing we call Parnibbana. Until such event, the enlightened mind is living, sensitive, and becomes aware of sensory experiences but do not, does not think of what the mind becomes aware of. The mind free from the burden of thinking is called the ultimate freedom of the mind. In Buddha said, Paramudmukti, a non-thinking mind, free mind, a motionless mind, non-thinking mind. This non-thinking mind is referred to by Krishna Murti in a metaphorical manner, saying silent mind. Silent means not not talking. Not talking here means the silent speech of the mind is thinking. Non-thinking mind. That means the mind that is able to accept things as they are, without liking, disliking, or illusion by not understanding the real nature of such sensory experiences. And that is the supreme bliss of Nibbana. In the Nibbana Sukha Sutta, Buddha says, non-thinking is the ultimate bliss of Nirvana. Sukham yadetta nati vedaita. These are the Buddha's words. It's a bliss for the mind not to think of anything. That mind is free from burden of thinking. That mind is a motionless mind, free from motions, free from feelings, free from thought forms. Thought forms are called in Buddhist language Sankara. They are composed of the previous knowledge that we have acquired when it becomes aware of something. And they are mental images. The mind becomes empty of all mental images created by the process of thinking. That is the emptiness of nirvana that one can realize at enlightenment, but can they get the training for such realization through meditation, the Buddhist meditation, where the mind remains aware of sensation but remains without thinking of them. In a short message given to an ascetic called Bahya that got enlightened within few seconds of Buddha's advice. That advice was, Bahya, be aware of all sensations, but do not think of them. Just be aware. 
the mind, there is sensing, awareness, but not thinking of anything, is free from the burden of the mind, the mental burden. And that is the Paramimukti called Nirvana that one can achieve. Even though thinking of the source of all material development, material civilizations, material cultures that the humanity has achieved, the supreme bliss is non-thinking. The modern civilization is made by the thinkers. Thinking is the source of all material, cultural development that the man, the humanity has achieved. But spiritual achievement is achieving a mind that is completely free of thinking. That emptiness is called Nirvana, and Buddha has named this as in the beginning, I said, Sunyato. In the Arahantavagga of Kuddhanikaya at page 44. That emptiness can be experienced even on the path of Nirvana, as I mentioned with regard to the Bahya Sutta, where the Buddha advises Bahya, just be aware of sensory experiences, but don't think of them. Don't, don't create mental images. Free the mind from creating mental images. That is what happened to Buddha's enlightenment, where he said, Visankara Gatan Chitta, at the enlightenment. The mind became free of all mental images, free of creative mental images. Mental images are called Sankara. And Sankara means creative mental images. Sankapa means, means a mental image in Buddha's language. The mind not burdened by the mental images called Sankapa is a mind that is completely free of the burden or pain of mind or tension or heaviness. And that is a blissful mind. And the supreme bliss is called Nirvana that we can experience even in our daily life through meditation, the Buddhist meditation, where one becomes aware of sensation but remains without thinking. And such a state is a blissful state of the mind.